Maybe you dream of building a shipping container home. The opportunity to build a simple, environmentally friendly and affordable home is certainly appealing. But what about safety? Is a container home safe, or will it attract lightning strikes? Shipping container homes are no more likely to be struck by lightning than conventional homes. However, tall or exposed container homes may have a relatively higher risk of being struck by lightning. If you are serious about shipping container houses and how to protect your house from lighting, I would like to invite you to watch until the end. Because at the end of this video you will get advices from lighting protection experts. You are turning in another video on Cargo Home Channel. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe, and like our video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notification, so that you never miss anything we put out there. Let's go back to our discussion. Grounding the house or installing a lightning conductor will further protect against lightning strikes. In practice, the difference between container houses and other structures is that the risk of being struck by lightning is already very low. Although it is generally a good idea to ground the house, professional installation of a lightning conductor is not cheap and is only necessary if there is a real risk of the house being struck by lightning. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe, and like our video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notification, so that you never miss anything we put out there. Let's go back to the our National discussion. The National Weather Service says lightning strikes the United States about 25 million times a year. A typical lightning strike contains more than 100 million volts of electricity. With all that power, it's amazing some researchers still say lightning is the most underrated weather hazard. 1. Container houses do not attract lightning. Lightning can strike in any area and is not usually attracted to anything. Very few things can attract the enormous force of lightning. In practice, this means that an ordinary house has almost the same low chance of being struck by lightning as a container house. That said, there are two things that increase the likelihood of attracting a lightning strike and explain why some container houses are slightly more likely to be struck than random ones. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe, and like our video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notification, so that you never miss anything we put out there. Let's go back to our discussion. 2. Lightning often strikes the tallest object in the neighborhood. But this is because lightning, which is electricity, passes through the point of lowest resistance. Since the air carrying it from the clouds is very poorly conducting, lightning automatically seeks out more conducting objects, such as buildings and trees, on its way to the ground. This is why taller trees and buildings are more often struck by lightning. Most container houses are not built into the ground and many are even built from several containers placed on top of each other. These tall structures, which are two or more stories high and rise from the ground, are more likely to be struck by lightning unless there are other taller structures nearby. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe, and like our video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notification, so that you never miss anything we put out there. Let's go back to our discussion. 3. Houses made of metal are susceptible to electricity. An even more important factor is that shipping containers are made of steel. Corten steel, to be specific. Corten is a contraction of corrosion resistance and tensile strength, and it is the most durable material that retains its strength on cargo ships that travel long distances in all kinds of weather. The disadvantage of steel is that it is highly susceptible to electricity, so steel structures are more prone to lightning strikes than other materials, such as rubber. Steel is also much more conductive than wood, which means it will be more likely to attract lightning than nearby trees, provided they are not much taller than the building. 4. Understand the reasons not to worry. Although height and materials have an impact on where lightning can strike, it's important to note that in most cases these factors only increase the risk slightly. That's because lightning is extremely powerful. A lightning strike at 3000 meters with a force of 1 billion volts will have little or no effect on the tensile strength of a relatively small steel building. Some studies have shown that a conductive object will only attract lightning if it is already striking in the immediate vicinity. In fact, only at a distance equal to or less than the object's height. For example, a 3 meter high container may attract lightning that is 3 meters away. In a word, your shipping container house is almost as safe from lightning as a wooden house or a concrete building of the same height. That's because it's so small compared to the enormous force a lightning strike can have. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe, and like our video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notification, so that you never miss anything we put out there. 5. Do I need lightning rods? That said, the risk of lightning exists regardless of the building materials used, and it can do significant damage. 
So the question is, what can you do to minimize the risk of lightning striking your house? Since we know what attracts lightning, we also know how to prevent it from striking a container house, by adding something that is taller and more conducive. And that's exactly what lightning rods are. Lightning rods are made of copper and aluminum, both of which are several times more conductive than steel. The lightning rod is installed above the building, typically on the roof, and is attached to the ground. If lightning strikes, it strikes the lightning rod instead of the building and is carried by the low resistance of the copper slash aluminium to the ground. This minimizes damage to people and property. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe, and like our video as well as subscribe to our channel and turn on notification, so that you never miss anything we put out there. Let's go back to our discussion. So what is a lightning protection system and how does it work? I'm here with Kim Lohr, the Lightning Protection Institute, and Kim, what is a lightning protection system? It's basically a grounding network designed to protect your home against lightning's harmful electricity. Now Kim is going to show us how this works. Kim, let's take a look. All right, Kim, so explain to me now how this system works. Well, what you see in my hand is a lightning rod, which is actually an air terminal or a strike termination device. And if you look up here, you'll see that the, there's a series of these lightning rods, these air terminals, that connect to a bonding system, that connect to a grounding system. So the idea is to take the lightning strike, the intercept the strike, take it down to ground where no damage is done to the home. With that, we come to the end of this video. Thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe to our channel, Cargo Home for more shipping container home content. We will see you in the next video.